resolution from the Chattanooga City Council allowed for the next steps in the city receiving the funds awarded for a comprehensive study. That resolution allows for the city to develop the scope, cost, engineering, and other requirements needed to establish an Amtrak passenger rail service. We've seen congestion rise. We've seen a lot more people on our roads than they were ever designed for um, back in the uh, mid-century. Having this additional uh, option for people. One locomotive engineer we spoke to today says the project will not come without costs. The problems that they'll run into and, uh, using existing lines is uh, it's set up for freight service and passenger rail, particularly scheduled passenger rail, gets in the way of uh, freight service. Sometimes they have to set out freight at certain terminals and blocking a main line and it's hard to integrate a scheduled passenger service into that mix. Hugh Sawyer with Norfolk Southern says he believes in advanced passenger rail service. However, he warns the plan could come with pushback. The, the freight railroads, the class one carriers will fight it as they always do, tooth and nail. They're adamantly opposed to it. Um, if we can use their corridors with a separate rail line, that would be... Uh, uh, the most sustainable way to go. The city says building on existing tracks is not only easier, but more cost efficient than building new rails. Our trains break down. We have lading overhanging that sometimes Amtrak might run into, that sort of thing. We appreciate you choosing News Channel 9 as your source for local news. For updates on this story and other breaking news events, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.